Some demonstrators who marched in Ferguson on Saturday are calling for another protest today, stopping traffic on area interstates at 4.30 this afternoon. Fox News' Paul Shankman joins us live. He is in West St. Louis this morning with more on that story. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, John. Yeah, over the past three week, we've, th weeks, we've seen lots of demonstrations in Ferguson, and that occasionally has led to some road closures there, particularly on West Forest. And well, now, protesters are hoping to stop traffic on some St. Louis area highways. This act of civil disobedience was pitched to the crowd of about a thousand people who attended the National March on Ferguson in response to the killing of Michael Brown by Officer Darren Wilson. The idea is for drivers to stop their cars on streets and highways all over town at 4.30 this afternoon for four and a half minutes, symbolizing the four and a half hours Brown's body was lying in the street when he was shot three weeks ago. But even some who support the demonstrations worry about unintended consequences. I don't think that that would be safe to do, to just stop traffic like that. You know, not saying that it's not worth the cost, but to just up and stop traffic like that, no. I would not approve of that. If some of our demands are not dealt with, then you don't see greater civil disobedience in the spirit of Dr. King because we're not just going to sit by and just let injustice constantly be impacting us. St. Louis County police say such a move could create, quote, a deadly situation. But those leading the demonstrators say you will see much more civil disobedience. And this morning, civil rights activist and lawyer Eric Vickers has sent a letter to President Obama advising him of a plan to shut down Interstate 70 on September 10th. That is a week from Wednesday. He says they feel morally obligated to carry out this civil disobedience, a peaceful act of civil disobedience, because Governor Jay Nixon has rejected calls to replace Prosecutor Bob McCullough with a special prosecutor in the Michael Brown case. I read and I, I, I um, haven't been able to put out my own article on it um, because I just found out before the program tonight is that the youth activists in the area of St. Louis have proposed blocking traffic on the interstate highway during Labor Day weekend. And I thought that, wow, you know, that I've never heard of anybody doing that. And that is more proactive and you will get better results and causing a economic boycott than you would if you ask people to not buy goods and stuff on a certain holiday. Don't buy Thanksgiving turkeys. Don't buy gifts during Christmas. And, and again, I'm, I'm seeing this, this force economic boycott by what these youth in Ferguson are doing. I've never heard of anyone shutting down the interstate on a busy national holiday. And and if, I mean, if that could be duplicated across the country, oh, you talk about causing them economic problems, they would really have some problems. Yeah. Well, you know, that's the kind of thing uh, that gives these people nightmares. Uh, you know, that what it reminds me of is when, um, when Malcolm X talked about the, uh, March on Washington, he talked about what it was originally going to be, uh, when it was organized, when it was developed and was being organized by Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. He said that they were going to go on highways and do just exactly what you're talking about, shut the highways down. They were going to go on, uh, the tarmacs of the airport and make it so that the planes couldn't leave because they're going to just lay out there. And, and, and on and on, they were, they were going to shut the city down. And that's what they were talking about. Uh, an act of insurrection or, or in rebellion, you know. And, um, of course, it was subverted by the, the Uncle Tom preachers and the, uh, you know, poverty pimps and all the rest of them. You know, they were even subverted. And, and of course, the Kennedy administration, uh, that directed them to do it. Uh, but yeah, that is still, that, there you go. You know, I mean, it, any number of tactics can be used if the intention is to really shut this sucker down. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, but what we're trying, what people are telling us is that you can't do anything. Uh, you got to follow behind some Uncle Tom preacher like, uh, Al Charlatan, uh, or, or listen to Obama. Don't do anything because you make Obama look bad and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you hear that garbage all the time. Uh, in addition to the kind of stuff that you're saying about houses being burned down, you know, that goes way back to the, to the, to the Watts, Watts Rebellion, and I heard the same thing consistently all through the 60s, and, and they said, oh, they're bringing their own houses down, and, and so and so, so forth, and all this kind of stuff. And uh, so it's, it's a kind of propaganda. You know, it is, uh, in fact, uh, 
a pacification uh, propaganda, you know, in favor of the police and and and, and authorities. 